Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. A really interesting, entertaining fight, uh, which I think we can make some money on. Isa Cruz and Jose ben, uh, Valenzuela, the props dropped on this, and this is something that I like a lot. I, I don't love uh, the, the money line bets, but there's a specific, a specific prop that I like. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing. Uh, 3D Boxing Blog, and all from social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, so you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the little ticker below. Uh, the Patreon gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all types of perks. It gets you the, uh, the updated props, bets that perhaps I haven't dropped when we did the video. Uh, we do the video a week out sometimes. Uh, it gets you as the bookie anything. It gets you a ton of pro- uh, gets you a ton of perks. You get the absolute best gambling advice available uh, on the Patreon link is in the description. Also, uh, follow subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Isak Cruz, short, stocky, come forward fighter, uh, pressure fighter, clean hooks. Rips hard shots. Uh, he stays behind his high guard. Not a ton of lateral movement. Straight in, straight out for the most part. Uh, stalks you down, though. He stalks you down. He keeps the pressure on. He keeps the pressure on. He doesn't work off his jab enough. Uh, he's constantly applying pressure, but it's all foot pressure. He's not working behind the jab, working behind the jab, coming in, coming in, coming in, because he's shorter. Uh, I like Isak Cruz as a fighter, but there's flaws in him. And he's his lead left hook is is his best punch. His lead left hook is one of the best punches in the sport. It's, it's absolutely dynamic. <clears throat> um, he's not the best at cutting off the ring, right? He's not the best at getting on the inside. But once he's on the inside, he's damn near impossible to deal with. So this is what makes this fight interesting. He doesn't jab enough. He's not great at cutting off the ring. He's not extremely feet of foot. Fleet of foot, although he is going to, going to be the faster guy in the ring. Uh, he, he needs to utilize the jab more. It's too, too much one at a time. It's one hook, one jab. It's it's too much. It's too much one at a time. He's straight in and out, low volume, heavy hitter, limited in what he can do. He rips to the body well. I like to see him go to the body more well. He really rips to the body well. When he mixes it up, I think he's at his best. He's on the inside, head, body, head, body, ripping it, ripping it, throwing those lead hooks. That's when I think he's at his absolute best. We just don't see enough from him. Cruz is a guy that can make your life extremely difficult, but he's also limited. He's an excellent fighter on the inside. The issue is, can he get on the inside? Because he can get hit a lot trying to get there because he's not real good at getting on the inside. He's not good at cutting up the ring. He doesn't jab his way in. He doesn't work behind a jab. He's just hooks trying to get you off guard and push you backwards. Rayo, Rayo, Jose Valenzuela. Uh, now this is a, a really, really hard fight to match up. Um, Rayo stays aggressive. Quick starter. Really quick starter. And I, I like that it gets off the, the quick starts. Charges full speed ahead. Big power. Swarms. Rips. Keeps the pressure up. Just rip shots. Rip shots. He does work behind his jab. He use, he's he got good height and reach. And he uses his jab. He, he marches forward with his jab. He can also box a little bit from the center of the ring. Not saying he's a master technician who can win battle of the jabs with world-class fighter. But he does use his jab uh, effectively. He's got a little bit more athleticism and a little more slipperiness to him. He's got decent footwork, decent moves that he can make you miss a little bit, right? That's not exactly what he does, but he can do that. Basic footwork. It's not much lateral movement, but he, he pivots a little bit. He turns. He can use the center of the ring uh, to his advantage. Good volume. He's constantly coming forward. He commits to his shot. He's a little bit sloppy and a little bit slow. Like I said, Isak is going to be the faster guy in the ring in this fight. No question about it. 
He cuts off the ring well. Uh, this fight, I think, is going to take place in a phone booth. You know, I, I think uh, Ryo can win the fight, can win rounds from the outside. I don't know if he can win the fight from the outside because it's not going to take place there. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to keep Cruz off of him for 12 rounds. And once we get onto the inside, watch out, y'all. Um, He's not, like I said, Ryo's not difficult to hit, but there's there's a little bit of defensive skill. There's a little bit of slippery, slip and slide to him, a little bit. Ultimately, he's in there to exchange, and he's there to hit. When he does jab, he, like, he is slow. He can be countered. He's got good explosive power. He, he can land powerful shots that can change the fight at any time. Uh, flip that around, he also has a questionable chin. He's there to be hit. He will exchange with you. And his chin may be questionable. That's what makes this fight so intriguing. I do think Alan Swell is the better fighter, but he's also flawed. He's fatally flawed. I think that well, let's look up let's look at the odds. Okay, because I like betting on this fight. I, I do I do like betting on this fight. I think there's money that can be made here. All right, so there's two things that I like here. The bet I really, really like. Does the fight go the distance? I say no, no, it does not. And I would put my normal one times bet on that. That's gonna make me a hundred bucks. Uh, I'll be a hundred bucks. It's gonna make me fifty-one twenty-eight. So it's gonna make me fifty-one twenty. This fight does not go the distance. Now, if you guys want to get a little cute with it, and I, and I do, look, this is a fifty-fifty fight, and when someone is paying plus three thirty in a fifty-fifty fight, take it. Just take it. Uh, look, if it misses, we get our money back. We, 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 we walk away from this fight even, but we have a chance to make a ton of money on this fight. A half times bet is going to make you $165. So if you know bets 100, cut it in half, make it 50. Take the profits from the fight coming the distance, put it on balance as well, it'll win. $65 bet. Sixty-five. Uh, we're making one hundred sixty-five dollars. So if if these if 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 it if it doesn't go the distance, and Valenzuela wins, we win. If Valenzuela wins and it doesn't go the distance, if it goes the distance and Valenzuela doesn't win, we walk away even, right? If Valenzuela wins, was inside the distance, then we win double, right? So the only way we don't win in this fight is if it doesn't is if. Crew stops Venezuela, which I think is the least likely thing to happen. No, if if Val, I'm sorry, if Cruz outpoints Valenzuela, which I think is the least likely thing to happen, anything other than that, we're a winner, right? So keep that in mind. So that's why I like this bet. Valenzuela on on the money on half the bet, but the, your bigger bet is that the fight does not go the distance. That the fight stops is stopped was inside the distance. I, I think it's a great bet. I think that's a fantastic bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, I really like this fight to, to not go the distance. I, I think that's a really wise bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please uh, smash the like button on your way out. It is August 2nd, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.